What's up, guys? Domo from New Line Players and Exploit by Us. Okay, a lot of people have been asking how do I um, get my own forums running and how do I upload a V Bulletin or a null V Bulletin? Okay, and how do I get hosting? Now, you can visit my site, it's cyber host.info, and I can actually give you hosting for $5.99. Okay, it's offshore, so you know you're protected legally, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, you're gonna need a couple of files on how to test your vBulls and how it's running. Okay, you're gonna need um, this right here. You're gonna need to go to vbteam.info, and depending on your vBulls and uh, what vBulls you like, you can download it. Um, I'm just gonna go for a simple release from the 3.8.x release. I'm gonna go for the non-key gen, so just this one here, the 3.8.6 release from uh, the DGT team. Very good guys out there, support them 100%. Um, good on you guys, okay? You're gonna have to make an account. Um, I'm just gonna quickly log in. Okay, and then once this is downloading, Yes, don't worry, it's not your internet if this downloads extremely slow, okay? It is actually VB team themselves. I think their servers are running a little bit slow at the moment. Okay, now you're gonna need another file or another program called WAMP, W-A-M-P, WAMP, like that. And then you can download this here. This is just for a test, so it will we can test vBulls on, on your local IP. So uh, I think your local host is, uh, I can't remember, it's like 127.0.0.1 or something like that. Download it from here, just click download, it's like 16 megabytes, won't take that long. Okay, now I haven't even set it up, so let's get it set up now. Okay, so this is it here. Next, next, next. Yes, I will create a desktop. Okay, it's gonna ask you to unblock, or your Windows will ask you to unblock or block this uh, Apache to install. Okay, and you're gonna need to make a folder called V Bulletin, just for our organization's sake. So we'll extract that into the V Bulletin. Sorry if it's a bit slow because our uh, WAMP is installing. Okay, and uh, just something here, visit our new forums, brand new theme right here. Um, heads up to Legacy, thumbs up to Legacy, great guy out there. Um, you know, give him a thumbs up, great guy, I bought this theme, it's not ripped, so we do legally own this. Um, for all you haters from PB Hacks, fuck you, because uh, we're not mulled anymore, so... Um, yeah, alright. Um, yep, that's fine. Okay, so v, uh, your VBulletin has been, um, done like that. Just click next and we'll launch WAMP. Now, you might need to left click on this and put online. And it's going to put itself online like that. Okay, so now it is officially online. And if we go to right here, HTTP local host, just like that, we'll come up with this default page right here. Okay, we can delete this if we go to my computer, local disk, WAMP, www, then just delete this right here. Right, that should be sweet. Now we can go to V Bulletin and we can um, copy, my mistake, and paste. Okay, so there, all our V Bulletin files are in there. Now, what we need to do from here, this is exactly the same if you're going to do it on a web server. So you'd go into the uh, um, public underscore HTML and drag this all into here. Now, from here, you need to go to um, Includes. And scroll all the way down to you can see config.php.new. Click on that, right click, 
and rename that to config.php. Okay, and yes. And then we can open this with uh, a WordPad, the advanced WordPad. It's always good because it's a nice layout. Okay, so that's like that. Okay, so from here, you you are going to create this in your C panel. Uh, for local host users to test this, we're going to create this in PHP My Admin. So from here, we want to type in PHP My Admin. Okay, then it's going to go. <coughs> excuse me, it's going to go to here, and then we're going to create a form. Okay, just like that. So we don't even have to worry about this right here. Okay, your password and your username for your master for your database is always root and is always blank. So don't worry about that, that's filled in for itself. Okay, for cPanel users or whatever, you're going to have to create um, your own database and username. So simply you fill this in, um, it's pretty easy, it's not too hard. Okay, alright, so I think we're running out of time real quick here. So we're going to save this, like so. Okay, then we're going to go to localhost, and then all, all your website, so this would be your domain, and then slash install, slash install dot php. And then we'll come up with the vbulletin install script, okay? So click, and then it confirms that the database is readable. Click, so it's successful. Click, okay, it's installing. Here, step five, step six, just installing the theme. Okay, this is your forum name, so I'm just going to type in YouTube slash NLP video. Oops. Then your homepage title will be exactly the same. Obviously, just leave that as it is. You can change your web, your email if you got one. Just gonna leave it blank. Okay, that's sweet. Okay, I'm gonna just let you add in. Fill in your details. Okay, just fill in your details like so. Yep. Just for so, so, okay. Once this is done, go back to your your uh, form directory or form root and delete the whole folder, okay? Delete all of it. Okay, that should be done. Click here for your admin CP. Okay, log in. And there we go. We have successfully installed vBulletin um, on our local host for testing. Okay, and that should be sweet. Okay, we'll just create a, uh, okay, just test that, and there we go, okay, so, um, this is good for testing modifications, um, anything that you don't want to put on your proper forum until you, um, can get it tested and stuff like that, alright, so, uh, visit newlineplayers.com and visit exploit by us, um, Big shout out to the boys out at uh, newlineplayers.com. And um, yeah, so see you later, guys.